I'm K.S. Lewis and welcome to Love Dish where each week we infuse the richness of loving relationships with the goodness of great food. Tonight I have one of my good friends. She is a PR dynamo in the Washington metro area and we're going to talk about long distance relationships. She might even bring her bow with her. So come right back and we'll get started. Welcome back to Love Dish. I'm K.S. Lewis, and just like I promised, I have my good friend Adrian Williams here from 3A Communication in the Washington metro area. And tonight, she brought her bow with her. She did. The bow is here. Thank you. Oh, I like the presentation. I like it. From, say where you're from. I'm from Dallas. From Dallas, Texas. Uh -huh. For, for now, for now, and we, I can't, first of all, I can't wait to get started with the meal, as you know, I love to eat, uh -huh. and so before you tell us all about the wonderful thing that you're cooking tonight, mm -hmm. let's get started, I gotta give you oh, the yes. gear, the tools we need to succeed, yeah, yes, the gear, yes, got it, these are tools Apron of up. success, absolute success in the kitchen, uh-huh, okay, go ahead and wrap this one up, and if you want to help him with his little tie there, on the, yep, Putting that in. Oh. Maybe you tie it and I'll tighten. Oh, there we go. Am mm -hmm. I doing this effectively? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like, he's not doing a good job First at the apron complete. thing. Yes. Yes. Okay. Sign of the apron. So, uh -huh. tell us a little bit about what you guys do and then what you're going to cook for us tonight. Well, I'm a publicist, so um, mm -hmm. as you know, it's how we met. Yes. Um, my little media maven here. Aww, um, so I do uh, <laughs> events, so festivals, hospitalities, <laughs> things of that nature in um, um, the D.C. area and outside of D.C. area. Yes. And, babe, and um, I do software engineering and I'm also an artist. I also do music and, uh, and painting. You know, some You're really not me. You're so talented. Oh. <laughs> I'm in. I'm in. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> and you are from the South, the yeah. Mid-South. You're from uh, Texas. No, that's southern. The that's mid south. This, yeah, 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 because I'm North Carolina south. <laughs> oh yeah. So okay. I'm from oh, North Carolina. Okay, yeah, yeah. See, I get you're it. I get Dallas. it. You're from Dallas. And you're from. Originally, I'm from Arkansas. The country oh yeah, too. we all from the S O U S. Is it really country? The though? South. What? Is it really country? Baby, it's Arkansas country. It's country. <laughs> It's, it's, that's that's, a, that's a different is, kind of southern, you it know is, what I'm I saying? Like, it's yeah. a very unique southern. Yeah, so. All right, so tell and us what make, you're cooking tonight. I'm going to make something, one of his favorite things mm -hmm. that I made for him. It is okay. um, smothered chicken mm -hmm. and mashed potatoes mm -hmm. and braised leeks. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. And um, Kay did a great job. She got the <laughs> Irish butter. <laughs> I got everything on your list. Irish uh, butter uh, is like uh, buttery. It is or, buttery. Butterier? Butterier. More yeah, buttery. Yeah, we're yes, more butter. We're running with it. We're and with I'm going to slide a little bit of smoked gouda in those yes. mashed potatoes, make them rich. Slide and then in. you have some other special spices that I, I think do. you'll walk us through as we get to them, I right? will, mm. indeed. Okay. First, we're going to wash our hands. Yes, we are. And while we're right. doing that, we will take a little break. And when we come yeah. back, we'll start with our dish for tonight. Welcome back to Love Dish. I'm K.S. Lewis with tonight's guest. 
Miss Adria and Mr. Hassan. <laughs> and we're making smothered chicken, yes. mashed potatoes, yes. and braised leeks. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but before we get started with all that, mm -hmm. so we're talking about long distance relationships tonight because mm -hmm. you're in Dallas, you're in DC. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about, you know, how you guys met, how you connected, and what prompted you, because I think you guys had a break and then came back together, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So how did you initially meet and connect, and then what prompted you to, yeah, we to get back together? We met through a mutual friends. Okay, well, we bumped into each other okay. at one point and that's, exchanged that's numbers. A, that, that's the point that I use. <laughs> exactly. Um, uh -huh. But we didn't really chat there. Like two years later, we yeah. met through a mutual friend. Mm -hmm. And then um, we went on a date. And like after our first date, we kind of did, we just never separated. Well, she was, oh. she was, she was, she was um, not feeling, she was not feeling well. She's like, but you know, honey, I'm kind of needy, you know, and um, you like, I was like, no, I got you. I got you. I know. Because right. I, I was like, you. I wanted to leave you know, the date. You know, she, she kind of, well. she kind of. So you wait like, a minute, you know, but let me make sure day. I understand. So you got sick on the first date? The first yes. date, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. No, like really bad. Girl, I was like, <laughs> wait a minute. So bad. Let me give you some props on that, girl. Because that's the way to keep the day going. Okay. Uh, y'all did so y'all write that down? Is, okay. that, is that what y'all were talking about? Hold on. Hold on now. I didn't know that was a technique. <laughs> She's tipping us on game technique. tonight. Okay. Uh -huh. and, and I didn't know that was a technique. <laughs> but <laughs> it really, I love it. It, it worked out though because it, it really did let me know that like it put him in a whole other light for me. It's like a yeah. caretaker and somebody that I could be like really comfortable with mm -hmm. and like feel comfortable being responsibility for me. And, like, and you were just nice. like, yeah. Like, no, I, yes. it was not a cute thing. Okay. I was really sick. She I was, was looking crazy. Okay. So he took care of me. She some tea to the bed right now. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, she was, she was so how long did this sickness last? A couple of days, but I, wow. I, I stayed there for a lot. Well, well, well that. yeah. Oh. I think we spent every day for the next three years together yeah, after that. Oh, like, wow. So you just never went home? Nope. Well, mm -hmm. I did, home, but I brought him with me. So <laughs> 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 Oh, true. wow. And then you guys had a break yep. mm -hmm. and then reconnected. Mm -hmm. So when once you reconnected, how did that happen? And how did you decide, okay, he's here, he's there, mm -hmm. I'm here. Let's do a long distance thing. I think the break really helped because we were both in other relationships, okay. like in between, uh -huh. but we never really lost contact. No, we never lost contact. Okay. I mean, completely. It was okay. kind of a break. I'll call it a small fracture. You know, what I mean? not a break, not a <laughs> not full a break. break, not a full a break, little... like a hairline fracture in the relationship. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, yeah, it does. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it lets you know to where because you grow and you yes. become more mature, mm -hmm. and when it comes to like spending your life with somebody there's like important things you know so and those relationships for me anyway gave me a chance to be like okay that's not don't want that don't want that <laughs> yeah. you know what i mean like yeah. the things you think you can deal with you really can't and then yeah you know you turn around and someone has all the things that you do like so break well oh, for, yeah, but break it down just, for us like what are some of those important things that you're saying that's because, good. i appreciate it because <laughs> she's giving you mad problems okay? thank you, thank you thank i you. am the problem she understand. already called you yeah, a okay. caretaker yeah. from day one well, I can't and help her. I, I adore everything that keeps her alive. So, you know. mm -hmm. <laughs> um, check, check, and check. <laughs> so, <laughs> but what are some of those things that you mean? Because it is really important to connect with someone that you feel comfortable with. Mm -hmm. and You know, I mean, you, you mentioned that you guys both had other relationships before mm -hmm. you came back together. So what were some of the things that were just like, no, this is, it, it's him? Um, I think we just, I don't know if there's a word for that thing okay. that it is. There is that thing, though. Yeah, there's The thing, thing is there, you know. <laughs> I don't know if we have a name for it. We just have it. a really, really, really good time together. Yeah. And I think that what's most important is not even, it's like when you go home mm -hmm. and you have to close the door and you have to, like, sit with somebody and it's just you and them and yes. that's going to be the case for the duration, then that time, like, what happens in that space mm -hmm. is, like, really important. And yeah. we have true. the best time it's in that essential. space. Yeah. Right? So it's we fun outside the, inside the house. It's yeah. fun still. And, yeah. you know, it's almost like it's effort for us to not to be apart. <laughs> not, not to be together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah, so, like, yeah. I love that. Mm -hmm. I love that. But what you're That's saying nice. is, is really key that you know find someone that pretty much makes you not want to walk away makes you not want to yeah, be absolutely. in space by yourself what have some of the um 
highlights and the pitfalls been as far as because you guys have careers mm -hmm. you're immersed in different really different cultures because you're in metro washington area he's in dallas texas it's very different places mm -hmm. Sure. What have been some of the highlights and pitfalls of being in those two places but still operating under a long distance relationship? It's a good question. Like, um, I feel like uh, the consistency of our communication is probably one of the best things that we have. Mm -hmm. But I mean, to, to, to like, and, and, you know, there, there, there are ebbs and it flows. Yes. And I don't think we take either one too serious. Mm -hmm. okay. So like if, if there's an ebb and on her side, she's busy because, mm -hmm. you know, some of those pitfalls are just like her being in a different area and having to, you know, operate over right. there. So if that happens, not that serious when I'm talking, when we're talking now, we're just, we're talking right now. Well, but I love what you're saying that, you know, communication is key, mm -hmm. that when something's going on, you talk, you make it work. Right. And we're about to make this dish work. Oh, okay? we're going to make it we're work We're going all the to way. make yes. it pop, okay? <laughs> so we've already That's got the potatoes thing. going. Because, yeah. I mean, pretty much boiling potatoes is pretty easy. You put it in water, you put a little mm -hmm. salt, and you well, let it go. Well, we put a little chicken broth in there, too. And a little chicken broth. That's yes. right, because it yes. adds flavor. It, it adds flavor. Does. So a little chicken broth, they a little flavor. salt, mm -hmm. put it in water, boom. Yeah. Um, but the next thing we're going to do is get going with the leaves. Mm -hmm. We're going to soak them and do some other things. Mm -hmm. But let's take a quick break first, and then when we come back, we'll get moving with some of that. Sounds okay? good to me. All right, we'll be Goodness. right back on Love Dish. For the novelty. Welcome back to Love Dish. We are about to get going with seasoning the chicken and soaking the leeks. Yes. All right, so take us through that process. Okay, so with the leeks, when you get them, um, you wouldn't think so, but most of the stuff at the end you don't even really eat. Wow, okay. Yeah, so you cut that off. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. That might help. All these high tech, <laughs> high -tech kitchen utensils. Taking the little cover off the knife might help just yep. a little bit. And we're going to just peel off some of this extra okay. part out here. But the best part of the leek is actually down here mm. at the end. Okay. This part. Yes. It's like the the meat of the of the leek plant. The meat of the leek. Exactly. <laughs> the meat of the leek. <laughs> the meat of the leek. <laughs> the meat of the leek. So um, and then that the leeks they're like they come from in the ground and so I like to just soak mine. I cut them in mm -hmm. half and I like to just soak them so that the water can get through like all of these little right. grooves here right mm -hmm. here and make sure that there's no dirt in them. So we're just gonna soak awesome. them up. Um, while we do the chicken. So it's looking real um, mm. intense. I like the aroma it's of the leaves. Yeah, yeah, I do too. It's really it nice. smells really nice. Mm -hmm. And so just talking about, you know, we've been talking about long distance mm -hmm. and you guys have um, talked about just the different ways that you keep communication going. How do you keep it sexy and fun over the miles? Because I'm, I'm almost positive that it gets really interesting having to navigate that I keep it sexy and fun. Right. Well, popping on, right? The best yeah. remedy for that is an airplane. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I try to. I That's mean, a good point. Yeah. Yes. Well, we visit a lot, you know. Mm -hmm. um, since I work for myself um, mm -hmm. and I have a company, I have the flexibility, so mm -hmm. I can go there and stay like a week oh, and a yeah. half every time. Yeah, she comes. She comes down from there. Like, yeah. um, and I can work from there. Yeah. So we visit a lot. Yeah. Um, and the FaceTime, I mean, technology is really key. Because being able to see days, each other right? when you're talking is, yeah, is like, yeah. it, it mm -hmm. makes it feel like you're still Back there. Back in the day, mm -hmm. we didn't have all no. these opportunities and avenues to, to still see one another. Absolutely, right? like, yeah, yeah. So having FaceTime, I agree, it okay. really, really helps. So those are and when you guys get a chance to be together yeah. in, in person, what mm -hmm. are some of the fun and sexy things you got? Well, not sexy, but some of the... No, <laughs> don't say family show. This is, this is, this is, this is <laughs> you this is early it. prime time show. <laughs> <laughs> is this show a family show? Or I was like, it's uh, not necessarily a family show, but we do invite right. mm -hmm. families watch together. Right. Um, but tell us about some of the fun things that you guys do, because mm -hmm. I'm assuming, even though you do have the freedom of self-employment, you don't have all the time in the world. Mm -hmm. So how do you make time together count? 
Well, everything with us is a, a production. You know what I mean? Like, we're going to... Because you know me. That I believe. Yeah, well, it, uh, well, for her, it's always a thing. It's never yeah. something. It's like, baby, look, we're all going to wear boots. We're going to have hats. We're going to be pirates. It's all good. Trust we're me. We're pirates Trust tonight, me, we're right? pirates. Right. That's the theme we're going for tonight, yeah. And, like, even so, just yeah. watching movies, I'm going to go ahead and start a season yes. chicken. And I'm going to slide this out of the Oh, I'm the movie stage. manager. Yes, he's... I'm the movie he's, manager. Yes. But it's a production. It's like, we sit there. It's important. It's... it's I think every moment that we spend together, whether it be cooking or anything, it's it feels like important to us. And yes. so um, everything that we do is kind of fun. Like it's a thing. It's, it's a thing. Everything we do is a thing. Right. Like, like sitting down and watch movies, cooking breakfast, everything yeah. is. Like even That's even midnight nice. snacks, I'm like, baby, look, uh, I'm about to go in the kitchen. The I think we got links. <laughs> I think we got some blah, blah, blah. I'm about to like shoot it up. Like just sit down, just sit down. I got it. Yeah, major. like, like exactly. Yeah, exactly. Please invite me. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. For sure. Please like, invite me. Watch. I'm all for things. I'm all for major productions. So I love uh, the sound of that. Mm-hmm. So right now you're just seasoning the chicken, yeah, right? Just a little bit of salt. Just a little salt. Not much salt at all. Okay. Because the flavor really doesn't come from the salt. Mm-hmm. It comes from everything else. Right. Um, so we're going to put a little And so bit. Talk, just kind of talk us through the different seasonings that okay. will go on the chicken tonight. So, as I mentioned earlier, mm-hmm. I don't know if I mentioned it, um, Kate and I were talking. I'm from Arkansas. So this is a little... Excuse me? Okay. The deep sound of Arkansas. So this is a yeah. little um, <laughs> spice mix that I picked up <laughs> nice. from the country market. Okay. And it's for real. It's really sausage seasoning, but it has like... <laughs> Well, it has like all of pretty much all, all of these of stuff in Times here. 10, right? Exactly. Because mm-hmm. I can see the red pepper. Yeah, flakes. there's some um, cayenne. And just show in there. everybody. Like, you can see this. It looks, it smells amazing. Yes, it is. Yeah. So, I like that. Mm-hmm. You know, we know how to eat. <laughs> we know how to eat in the country. Right. Yeah. In the country. And just so the viewers know, Adrian and I are good friends, and every time, you're right, every time we get together, it's a production, <laughs> and we eat. We eat. Oh, and, and we, we eat good. Well. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. We love that. We have to be okay. good. We eat good. I ain't been invited to none of these, so I'm just... Should I feel slighted? I'm no, just laughing. No, no, no. <laughs> we'll FaceTime you in next time. Exactly. Okay, yeah, I mean, maybe part of the, we'll you know, include you, babe. I'm yeah. going to participate. All right, so you don't do a lot of that because it is really strong. So mm-hmm. just want to make sure it gets all around. It smells like sausage, maybe? Chicken, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Really, it smells like I'm going to eat it regardless. <laughs> it does mm. smell like sausage. Well, it is sausage. And maybe. I guess any I point, anywhere you go, there's some type of farmer style market. Yeah. Right. Or just like, you know, a little country store that mm-hmm. probably has some sausage seasoning, right? right? Mm-hmm. And you just pick your favorite one and keep it moving. Right. But really, it is um, just like the season, mm-hmm. like the seasoning salt. And um, I'm the type of person, like when I cook, I, I don't use recipes. Right. Like just like kind I of. I love that. Type yeah. Of cook. yeah. But so if it's in the cabinet, um, a lot of things you can do too to, to like if you know kind of how we want something to taste or what you're mm-hmm. going for you can smell it he taught me that yeah. you smell it to see if it like goes with the palate that you're you know you have in your head so right. <laughs> <laughs> little salt little pepper yeah. garlic powder and your favorite sausage seasoning <laughs> exactly mm-hmm. or just seasonings in the cabinet okay. I would suggest like um Goy, I like I like the adobo, mm-hmm. like the you know just the different yes. like the seasonings that have a lot of other spices mm-hmm. within. I like mm-hmm. that. So, but I like a lot of flavor. Okay. Honestly, when you're cooking chicken, all you really need right. need is salt and pepper. That's so true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it's just whatever you like. Exactly. It's kind of like you said, it's whatever your palate is longing exactly. for on that particular day. So Ooh. we're gonna take a quick break so you can rewash your hands. Yes, thank you. And then we'll tell us that. what we're gonna do when we come next. So come when back. we come back, it's gonna be time to fry up the chicken. Okay. Um, the potatoes were on, yeah. so, so yeah, I'm gonna drain those. those and we're gonna yeah. mash mm-hmm. those up mm-hmm. with Smash our them. butter and Ooh. gouda. Oh, you did the yes. shoulder shake for the gouda. I love that. It's, it's going to be real good. The gouda. It's going to be real good. Okay, real I can't good. wait. All right, well, we will be right back on Love Dish, and we're going to get the gouda and the Irish butter going with these mashed yes. potatoes and get the chicken fried. Yep. We'll be right back. Hi, everyone. I am Mr. Brian Lamont. I am a wardrobe stylist, personal shopper, and media personality. You can find me at almost every single fashion, networking, or entertainment event that you can name. Catch me on all social media platforms at Mr. Brian Lamont. Until next time, peace. 
say that. We my, try. My side is literally hurting. <laughs> but it's not hurting too much for me to not eat this food. Okay. Absolutely. But uh, while we're just kind of yeah. finishing up everything, so we've smothered the chicken. We've now smothered the chicken. Yes. Uh -huh. We've braised the leeks and the broccoli. Mm -hmm. The mashed potatoes are ready to go. But I just wanted to know, like, what kind of advice do you guys have or would you offer to couples that are operating in a long-distance relationship or a long-distance love? How would you tell them the best ways to make it work? Mm. Um, unlimited data. Unlimited data? <laughs> <laughs> Go straight to the data point. Unlimited That's good. Data. That's exactly. good. I appreciate um, that. No, but I think it's the same for long distance relationships or any relationship mm -hmm. is um, just like talk to each other. Absolutely. Um, don't let anything fester. Mm -hmm. People, I'm always really surprised when couples are um, surprised at the other one's actions or that they feel a certain way yeah. or they're breaking up. It's just it's like, you know, if you've been talking someone through it, you, you know how they sort of right. feel about things and things won't surprise you. So that's what I feel like um, makes us good. We just talk about everything. You have. Absolutely. Yeah. So talk. Talk. Do a lot of talking. Do a lot of talking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Over talk. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, for real. Yeah. Well, it, well, it is good. That that and keep and keep it light and make sure that you you know that you're you're relating exactly what's going on mm -hmm. in your life so that you know um, people don't get angry. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> also, too, I think in general, um, if you talk to someone about how you guys feel about each other and yeah. what your goals are. Everything else is a variable. Mm -hmm. True. Um, That's and, a good point. Yeah, and so the little things, you can't really focus on them. You have to figure out ways to take those variables and fit them into the overall goal. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Which is happening. Right. We nailed it. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah. Let me just agree with you guys. <laughs> right. There you go. Yay. There you go. Fives yeah. around. Yeah. Fives all the way around. Right. Yes. Around, around the fives. Around. Well, I'll Perfect. tell you what else is going to be a five all the way around this meal. Yes, oh, my it goodness And gracious. so we are going to take a really short break. Okay. Plate the food yes. and, and, and eat, eat the food. And eat the food. This is my favorite part of the show. <laughs> uh, it's literally my favorite part too. I'm so sure we'll run let's away with this let's right here. We will be right back on Love Dish, and you'll see us eat all this delicious. the food, Absolutely. smothered chicken, braised vegetables, mm -hmm. and mashed potatoes with a little bit of bread. We found a little bread yes. on the <laughs> side, you know. So yeah. first, let me just say thank you guys so much for coming oh, on the show welcome. and just thank sharing you your story, you. Thank you. talking to us about how you make long distance work. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Y'all definitely gave me some things to think about and I well, made a list yes, of how okay. to keep it, you know, okay. keep it fun uh -huh. and keep it moving and grooving. And uh -huh. so I feel encouraged and I hope our viewers do too. Absolutely. Why don't you tell everyone how they can find you? I know you guys are doing different things, so mm -hmm. we definitely want to know how to keep up with you. Don't look for me. I'm just kidding. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> you can find me, um, I mean, I guess on social media, Adra underscore Renee, mm -hmm. but um, do lots of events around. So um, actually, if you DM me, DM me an email, I get a couple of invites oh, oh. coming your way. You want to do that? <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> and maybe how can they hear you? Um, well, as far as music wise, you can um, imultimusic.com, which is www.imultimusic.com. I'm sorry, what's the first part? www. Yes, oh God, I have to put the three W's in front of it. You know that's necessary. <laughs> <laughs> but um, on, on uh, imultimusic.com and also on uh, multi underscore DA artiste on um, Instagram. So, yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And so I have to end with one more question, and this is something I ask everyone that comes <laughs> on the show. You've talked about long distance, you've talked about how you make it work, you've given advice, but how, let me ask this, what is your greatest hope for love? Um, I just, my greatest hope for love is that it's not a chore. Okay. And that it could just be, um, what it does for me, and this is what I hope it keeps doing, is allows you to focus on 
other things in life, um, mm -hmm. the things that you like to do, you know, maybe refining your own ha your hobbies or tastes or something like that. So mm -hmm. it just really is liberating mm -hmm. to oh be comfortable God. in love. Like so that. comfort, I guess, would be the answer to that. Yeah. Okay. We don't want love to be a career. We don't want yes. love to be, you do your career and then you're in love. Yeah. You know what I, mean? like, I like that. Yeah. I like that. I'm going to go with comfort. Comfort, yeah, comfort and you have your career and then you're in love. Yeah. I like Absolutely. it. Absolutely. I like it. Well, you guys can look right below and find the recipe for this wonderful dish. Make sure you try it and let me know how you like it in the comments. Also hit the subscribe button. We will see you, well I will see you next week. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys are welcome to come Thank back you. if you oh, like. Man, you can come, come back. back every week if you want to. But for now, we're gonna taste this dish because just Absolutely. sitting here, I, I can't wait. I'm ready to get I've been waiting. Absolutely. I'm gonna go in for the veggies. I'm gonna do the mash. I'm gonna do some Get of this smoked potato. Yes, mm. absolutely. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Wow. Okay. That's amazing. Okay. No. <laughs> you think you know? Okay. She only throws in one direction, y'all. Tell us what direction. That's down. <laughs> Thanks, baby. Absolutely. And now Cheers you know. That. Well, let absolutely. me not miss out. Yes. Right, let's go. Cheers. 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 <laughs>